Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to Stitches and Jacks. This is a little series that I'm just doing for Christmas in July. I think last time you saw me, I was very excited and it was like an introduction to all the projects that I would like to make <laughs> in July. <laughs> or at least get started. At least get started. So how have you been? How have you been? I think, um, first of all, I'd like to welcome all of you and thank you for your lovely comments and thank you for um, subscribing. We've had a few new people come over and join us, so welcome. Welcome one and all. And you're all welcome to the party to come and have a party in my house. <laughs> I think I have a serious problem in the summer. I think the sun addles my brain. Do you ever think that... You can make craft, do more than what you think you're capable of in sort of time wise. Like, do you ever want to like make it all? I think that's definitely a theme of mine in the summer. Um, I've cast on three three projects, cast on two knitted, and I've is it I don't know is it cast on for crochet or hooked on? Um, yes. I'm pleased with my progress. We've had a temporary halt um, for two reasons. Two reasons being, first reason that I've been here, there and everywhere. Um, I'm heavily involved with my grandchildren and the two eldest ones are, well, yes, as of yesterday, it is Saturday, oh, it's a Saturday the 20th of July. There we are, Saturday the 20th of July. Do you have a time check? And it is uh, 10 to 5. <laughs> Um, I've been quilt when well, I haven't been quilting today. I've been to my quilt group today, and we had oh I've left all the stuff downstairs. Um, we had a lady come in who was absolutely fantastic um, about color, um, color placement, color design, um, printing your fabric. I think the reason I'm not brought it upstairs is because I'm going to save what what. Yes, I made one or two purchases. It would have been rude not to. Um, for my quilting or oh, my sewing I'm going to do a summer a summer sewing series so it's just brief the first one is a brief introduction and just I think I need to I need to rein myself in but I need some kind of order I need some kind of system so yeah so that was really lovely um today so yeah been out with the boys, was did I pick them up Monday? We had ice cream in the park, and then Thursday I had them. Oh, we went out for dinner. Yeah, we went out for dinner as a family, and to celebrate Alfie finishing school and for Fred finishing year two and going up to year three. Um, it used to be called the Infants in my day, and you went up to the Juniors. So that transition between the Infants to the Juniors. So he will be in year three, and he will be eight. Um, is quite a big step for him and when he goes back in September his brother is not going to be there not that they saw each other much um, you know because they were in such different different years but they would walk in together and then he would wait for his brother that kind of thing so that's all, all going to change so yes we went out for a lovely dinner we took all the grandchildren apart from our Tobes he was um, at home with mum and dad we just haven't got I haven't got this space in our cars for car seats um so yeah we had a, we had a lovely time we yeah we met um yeah Alfie's Alfie's mum came and his uh, stepdad came and it was just lovely the only thing we didn't get was a photograph of everybody at the table we've got lots of individual photographs and I've got a beautiful one of the five of them outside the restaurant and as many of you you will know we have tried since they've all arrived to get these get this photograph but we don't get them all looking the right way or smiling or anything and it, it was just lovely really lovely family stuff so that's, yes, I've been here, there and everywhere. And the second reason I'm not as far on is because I suddenly decided to do the Stephen West socks, which we'll do a separate series on for that. So I'm working on Clue 2 um, and then working on some um, projects for Freddie. One is a quilt, which um, I've just talked to you about on another video. And then the second... Um, reason is I just need to take a break from my Christmas in July projects, concentrate on Freddy's 
and I've been crocheting him something and I sent it to um, like Dawn um, at Dawn's Day sort of for her approval, what does she think? So she could be thumbs up and um, for Jeanette at Crafty Clegg's Creations and my daughter because uh, they're all like really good crocheters and Arigarumi isn't my thing in the sense of I don't give myself enough time or credit to do it but I've made um, ready two things to, for tomorrow so I will yeah share that and I'm very pleased so now I can concentrate on um, these projects I just have to finish sewing the binding on his quilt put the label on which I'm hoping to do tonight and tomorrow and then tomorrow afternoon I can get on with these yeah so the first um, item I cast on and I was just champing at the bit let me just get the picture to show you was a shawl and I know it's Christmas in July but perhaps it was a present to myself for all the preparation I'm going to do beforehand I'm going to go with that yeah, I'm going to go with that and it was the Stansbury shawl by Emily Clawson of Salt City Knits it's because I wanted to use the yarn isn't it pretty and after the garment knitting that I did I just wanted some I wanted something to soothe the soul, so I just wanted some plain um, stocking stitch knitting, and then there's a little bit of like there's a mesh work, and then the beautiful lace. Oh, the yarn is to die for. Oh my word! I went to um, Knitting Public Day in I oh, seems so long ago now in May. Was it May? was it May the end of May? Was it May or June? June. June the 8th, I think. Oh, now yeah, something's coming out. Um, and I met the dyer from Red, Red Squirrel. Whoops, that wasn't very good, was it? So, <laughs> Red Squirrel and June. And in the northwest, there's an area called um, Formby, and it's they have a forest near the coast and it's renowned for all the beautiful red squirrels. And I love supporting um, local businesses, indie businesses, small businesses, and especially if it's run by a woman. And I got to meet her, oh my word, she is fabulous. I used her yarn to make my Stephen West socks last year. And I just couldn't wait. I do, I do have a dress, I do have a dress that I would like to wear. Um, so I have gone with the Primrose yarn and I've taken the beautiful um, yarn. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh it's the tie. Um, I took the 20 gram off another mini so that I could do the um, mesh. And that's going to match the red that's in my dress. When we get summer, though it's a bit hot today. Um, and this is the yarn and it's primrose. Oh, my word. And she named it for her mum for Mother's Day. And I didn't know that. And every so often there's like a little speck of green. Can you see that there? Yeah. And it is just delightful. Absolutely, absolutely delightful. So this is as far as I've got. So I think I'm on the last section. If my notes are right, or if my notes are right in my head, I don't know if they'll be matching the pattern. <laughs> So, yeah. I'm not a yellow person, really not a yellow person, but I knitted last year um, Alex from My Yarny Corner, Jeanette from Crafty Clegg's Creation, and myself did a collaboration to, um, well, to dye some yarn and some project bags. Alex dyed the yarn and it was absolutely amazing. And that was yellow. It was yellow and a turquoise um, mini skein. And I love them. I absolutely love them. It's funny, isn't it? When you say, oh, no, no, I'm not a yellow colour, yellow person. I'm more like um, a blue. And you'll have to forgive me. This is, I'm going off on a tangent here. Um, if I show you something, it's covered in hair. I'm having a real problem with my hair at the moment. It's falling out um, and I don't know why. So I've changed my shampoo. I've had like a couple of inches chopped off. And I said to my daughter, yeah, it's everywhere. Um, I said to my daughter, I nearly... <laughs> This might sound disgusting. I said I nearly like emptied my hairbrush every day and put it in a bag to give to you at the end of the week to see to show you, like if you think this is too much. And she's like, so pleased you forgot, Mum. <laughs> so here we are. I can't show you properly, but it's on the needle. Oh my word. 
Look at this. Look at that. So it's, yeah, so you can just see, make out those little green speckles now and again. It's beautiful though, absolutely beautiful. So I'm looking forward to putting some serious work on this. So on the last section, I think, yeah, once it's blocked, it'll be bigger, won't it? And then I'll be on that um, ruby red. Whoa, look at that. So that's a hit. Maybe when it's finished, the sun might come out and I'll be able to wear it with my dress. Right, so that's that. And that's living in my bag that I made myself. Just bear with me. I've been yakking too much today. And then in my Christmas bag made by the lovely Paula of I'm Stitched by Mrs. D. Oh my word. Not sure that goes in. I'm knitting the beautiful socks by Suzanne of Green Lampkin Yarn. Look at those. They're lovely. Oh, they're called the Yule Tide Socks. It's on the top. And this is, I think, a 2020 skein of yarn. Two skeins of socks. Um, two skeins I bought. As, did I buy it as a set or individually? It's from when it was Mr. B's yarn. Bird Street yarn. Mr. B before they became Bird Street yarn. I should have brought a sock blocker up, shouldn't I? Now I've spoilt it. Now I've spoilt it. Let me show you the yarn first of all. And one of them is called Drunken Santa. It doesn't look like I've got the ball band in here for the other one. And the other one is called Mummy Kissing Santa under the Christmas tree. Aren't they just delightful? Oh my word, they are so lovely. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So these are a set of um, Christmas socks, Christmas yarn and Christmas socks for my mum. There they are, look. I'm just looking, no, they're downstairs. Oh my word, look at those. Absolutely lovely, look at that cuff. Yeah, Suzanne is so clever. Really, really like those. And I have more, she says. Oh, I really do need. Ta da! Look at those. Love it, absolutely love it. So I've done a. Is it called an afterthought heel? No, a full a full thought heel. Yeah, look at those. Aren't they lovely? Oh my word. I haven't made a pair of pattern socks, I don't think, this year so far. Um, because I just oh I've just been in the in the groove for um simple stocking stitch. Oh lovely. Well that to me it says Christmas and it says to me for some reason it says sweets, candy canes, that kind of thing. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that. It's upside down. Oh, wow. Yeah. So mum's really... I don't think my mum's worn a pair of socks yet. I made her a pair when I first started knitting. And then I've been asking her. And then I asked her this year. And I said, mum, if you really don't like them, it's fine. Just say and I'll have them back. And um, she, no, she said, they don't fit. I said, what do you mean? She goes, they're too big. I think she's shrinking because we're all getting... And she's getting older. So I said, right, I said, let me draw around your foot. And um, I said, I'll make you another pair. So I did. And um, she's really pleased with those. But I still haven't got the other pair back. <laughs> but I've told her I'm going to make um, a pair for a friend. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll show you, show you the yarn. But they're going to be a vanilla pair. I need to get these finished. Because I've got way, way too much on my needles. So that's those two. So I'm happy with that progress. And I'll whiz through those those two. Oh, bear with me. Oh, 
And there's me saying, um, Aragurumi. I'm just not confident enough. I need to, we were talking about this at Quilting today, um, that as adults, you sometimes find it very hard to start something new and not be as proficient as you are in something you're very comfortable with or experienced. You don't give yourself, you don't give yourself the time, the permission, don't give yourself permission to yeah, try something new or to make mistakes. And that's how we all learn, isn't it? And it's how our creativity goes in um, different directions or it makes you remember like a new skill that you've learnt. So I want to make my mum one of these dolls. I was going to make her this one, but she saw this one in the shop and that's the one I'm making her. It reminds me, it reminds me of my daughter, my eldest daughter, what she used to look like. She didn't look like a crochet doll. But sort of Anne of Green Gables, Laura from Little House on the Prairie. And that's why she's called Laura, because I was just so in awe of this character in Little House on the Prairie. But that's what I'm hoping to make. Um, my, my, as I said, my mum's, yeah, she lost her husband, so I think Christmas is going to be very hard. Um, but I would like to make her something, so I'm thinking. And she comes with like all little outfits and things, like things like this. That's the Christmas outfit. So I'd like to make the Christmas outfit and I'd also like to make, I think there's a winter outfit. Oh, let's have a look. Yeah, that's that's the Christmas outfit. How cute is that? I just love her boots. And then I think that's the winter outfit. And then there's some other outfits that I thought perhaps I could make because her birthday is three weeks after Christmas. Maybe I could post them to her and she could like open these little packages. So I've started. It, was, it just takes me a bit longer and I, I don't mean speed, it's my ability, but I still don't know whether this is right. Don't laugh, please don't laugh at me. <laughs> um, and I, I have made her to the pattern. Is there a picture in here? That's what I keep looking at. She hasn't got a bottom, but you kind of know what I mean. Hmm. But I think, there she is there. So she has no limbs. So you're not. And that's, see, I'm not sure whether that's right or not. So if you've made this or you have any advice, <laughs> let me know, because I'll be happy to undo it. And I don't know when. Her head looks really massive. Well, I think I've used a three mil because that was my smallest crochet needle, and I think it was a two point five. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And it doesn't really matter. The only thing that would matter is that um, I just need to make sure I don't run out of yarn. Um, and it might not be as tight as it should be, perhaps around the neck. Yeah, so I've got that far. And I'm just hoping, so that's, I just wasn't expecting it to go out like that. Um, and with Aragurumi, excuse me doing a head, <laughs> do you manipulate like the fabric once you've created it? I don't know. See, look, that even looks even worse. Well, I know she hasn't got her arms and she hasn't got her legs. So hopefully when I have those on and she hasn't got her hair, that's what she's supposed to look like. Now to me, that looks really flat and that has not come out as much as mine has. And that's a side view. So she's got, yeah. Mm. Might have to ring Jeanette. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely longer, isn't it? It's definitely longer, the body. I'm thinking, oh, well, perhaps when she's got the clothes on, it won't matter. And maybe it won't matter. But what I need to do is I just need to let it percolate on the side. <laughs> and um, I'll come back, I'll read the pattern. So I need to choose a time. I need to choose a time when 
um, I can just sit. So what have I got on this week? Tomorrow I've got a birthday party and then I think I think I'll be taking my mum back. Um, so that'll probably take me an hour and a half, like round trip, maybe two out two hours. So I might have an hour tomorrow afternoon and then I'll have tomorrow evening. I need to work on the Stephen West sock Monday. What are we doing Monday? Oh, that's house cleaning, maybe food shopping. So I'll have Monday evening. So maybe Monday evening, maybe I'll just draw a line and um, have a look at that then. But any um, advice I'd really appreciate. I'm looking over there because I've got something that I've left over there which should have been down here. So if you just bear with me, I'm going to pause the camera and then I'm going to bring that back. Right, all sorted. Sorry about that. So there's loads of things that I want to do for Christmas in July. Um, and I'm now at the frame of mind. <laughs> Perhaps I'll just start some and um, carry on working on them slowly. So I've got my box out that has some Christmas things in there um, that I'd started and hadn't finished. So I'm ahead of myself for this year. And I found something that I did last year when I was doing Christmas in July, but I couldn't remember where I'd put them. So I was so efficient. I was too efficient for my own good, too efficient. So I made some, oh yeah, that's why they're there. I made some baubles last year. So I made, oh, Mary and Jesus. How cute are they? How cute are they? I think there was like a bauble along. So I did those. So we're missing Joseph. So that would be quite nice, wouldn't it? To be able to reunite Mary and Jesus with um, Joseph. They're just so cute. And I can remember feeling so amazed that I was able to make these. So it goes to show it is just practice. So that needs to go on the list. And then yes, I've got some gorgeous fabric. Um, and these are going to be, I'm not going to be, these are bags. I'm not going to be selling them. Uh, and please don't ask me to make anything because I'll just be like, oh, where do I I can't do it, I can't do it. It's like just such enormous pressure. Um, but these are going to be um, gifts. I've cut the fabric out, I've got so far. And I love all the kitsch fabric. I think that's the back. Yes. Look at those, aren't they beautiful? Absolutely beautiful fabric. Um, so I've got two two bags cut out yeah two bags cut out this is another one I can't even remember where I bought the fabric from and I don't think I bought this fabric to go with it I think I had this in my stash but it's lovely and then I've also found, a bit of, yeah, I can't, I can't keep that piece of fabric, can I? I mean, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> and then I've got some, um, oh, some lining. Well, that's exciting, isn't it, to show you. I think I'm going to, yeah, make a little, can you, yes, you can see it, can't you, the snowflakes. <gasps> um, to make a little notions bag to go inside. So I've got everything there it's not worth showing you that because it's all just like a nothing um let's have a look what else i've got oh right okay i don't think this is cut out but i folded it okay so this is my christmas fabric look at that love it so yes i don't know what that's going to become i thought i'd made something Oh, and I do have got something in there. Oh, right, okay. So this is going to be, this is more lining. So pretty, this fabric. And then I found that I've got this. I haven't even used it yet. One of my favourite stories, um, fairy tale stories, is Hansel Gretel. <laughs> Again, again, Hansel and Gretel. 
Well, that's what that says to me. So who knows that that might even become a little um, bag. Oh, so I think I bought it in white and pink. I've got a meter. Aren't they just adorable? That would be nice for a Christmas project. Oh, and then this beautiful fabric. So it's good to go and have a rummage, isn't it? You find all these things. Look at that. Oh, that says Christmas, doesn't it? Beautiful. Okay. And then what else is in here? Oh. Right, this looks like a, a bag for me. Oh, my word. Right, this is an early bag. Right, so I've got... Bits and pieces here. And then I remember this. I uh, made the girls, my girls, a bag each. Oh. oh, it could be like a tote bag. Yeah, I've got two. I've got two pieces. It might be a Christmas tote bag. Okay. Okay, that's all the bits that go inside it. Um, got polka dots. These might be handles. Okay, put that in there. Oh. That was a find in there. And what else? Oh, started another bag. Oh, yes, I can see what I've been was trying to do. I think was I? <laughs> Again, this is kitsch. All oh, right. Yes. Look. Oh, so I could get these out, couldn't I? And look at that. I think I had an eighth and I wanted to use all of it. And that's going to be the bottom. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yes, look. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, my word, that's a blast from the past. Those would have been Christmas masks. Wow. Hmm. Okay. There's another fat quarter. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, I think that's everything that's in there. <laughs> well, that was certainly worth getting that drawer out. I found a few little treasures in there. And then if that's not enough, I've been thinking of smaller gifts and I was thinking because I have some yarn left over from I'm pointing to the wardrobe but that's got my top on that I made I was thinking maybe I could do something like this look at those they're nice aren't they the um coat hangers that'd be a nice gift these things uh things mitts they but they would be nice just, have a look. I was just flicking through word look at this now I'm going off at a tangent I think I saw something else I should have put the um so little baskets they would be good wouldn't they they'd make little good gifts little good gifts they'd make lovely gifts and this little um pot holder I'm just thinking for leftover Leftover bits and pieces. Oh, look at that. I've got that. Well, I have a white tree. <laughs> They'd be nice, wouldn't they? So you can see, you can see where I'm going. A little um, purses. I quite like to, I don't know about you, but my handbag or my bag is like full of clutter. Um, yeah, bits of this, bits of that. And um, might be quite nice to um, have some little purses for things. So it's just an excuse to make more stuff, isn't it? Or oh, a dingly dangly garland. Um, what else? There are those mitts. Oh, that cushion's nice. That's a mandala um, cushion. 
Oh, and zipped makeup bags. Wow. Okay, is anybody... Um, oh, look. <gasps> oh, look at those. I like those. They're um, colour play face scrubbies. Oh, they would be good. Okay, I've got some ideas for little gifts. Yes, there's the coat hangers. Oh, they're lovely. So that's that one, Colourful Crochet. And I would have um, purchased this from um, um, the works. This is um, Crochet Your Leftovers. Yes, you can see where I'm going with this. There's another one of those coat hangers. I really like that. Um, what else? Yeah, the... But they're not called mug rugs, are they? They're mug, are they mug warmers? Yeah, see, look. That's beautiful as well, isn't it? You see that? Mm. Look at that. Have you used one of those? I really fancy having a go at making like a round cushion. Wow. Yes, I mean, they look delightful, don't they? I'm not just talking about the cakes. Oh, here we are. That's the picture I was looking for to show you. I've got loads of um, crochet yarn in this. Uh, is it DMC? Um, yeah, Laura and I went into a shop years ago and um, we didn't need anything. And um, yeah, they were, it was reduced to 50p a bulk, so we bought, we bought loads. Yeah, look. Right, they're definitely on my radar. So I'm going to finish those projects first, but hopefully when I come back, I'll have um, some bits to show you. Yes, look. This is the type of thing that I'm saying, oh, I'd really like to make, I'd really like to make. And I don't make it because I don't have enough time. My mum was laughing at me today as well. Um, so I think I'm getting a reputation <laughs> for... It will be at the one. Yeah, there's some lovely things in there. I've got lovely books. Right, okay, I'm going to leave it there. So it should be short and sweet this time, but next but next time there'll be some finished objects and hopefully I'll have some starts, maybe even a new finished object. So I hope you have a lovely um, weekend and plenty of crafting time, whatever you find. Oh, and I've just watched a video, which I don't know if you will have watched it, I think it's two weeks old and it's um, Laurie Holt and um, it's a craft room tour and it looks like she's got the whole of the upstairs of her house and she has a, no I'm not going to say anymore, go and have a look um, and it's well worth um, looking. I mean she runs a business so that's obviously why she needs this space and it's a working space but yeah, it's just a delight, just a delight. We are going to, we're going to ha oh, we're having a takeaway. Mr. Jax was just ordering that as I came up. And I'm going to go and sit on the couch. No, I'm not. I'm going to sit at the kitchen table and I'm going to do some more work on that binding and get that quilt ready. If I get that done for tonight, I'll be really chuffed. So I can just get up in the morning, <laughs> get up in the morning, go to church and then go to Fred's party and go, da da. Yeah. All right, my lovies. Um, lovely to be with you again and I'll see you soon. Bye.